Okay, now that the headlights are in, I'm thinking it's time to start getting the front end back together. So I've got the radiator support. I've got the area pretty much prepared. I did run the headlight wiring. Hopefully it all works. I don't know. We'll find out later. Um, so that's all ready. Before I put in the radiator support, however, um, there is this cutout here, right? For the hoses and the wires on the driver's side. And I'm thinking it might be a good idea, even though there, there's probably room to change it. You know, I'm sure there is. But as long as I've got it open, I thought, why not run the three hoses uh, that I need to run up to the front. I don't have to get them all dialed in, but um, it looks here, 18, 19, and 20. So I've got large yellow, 84 inches, small white, 100 inches, large yellow, 77 inches. So that's referring to these things, you know. So I'm going to pull those out and then I'll just, uh, you know, kind of run them to where basically they need to go. And then I'll then I will put in the radiator support just to, you know, make my life a little easier without having to run them through after the support is in um so i'll check back with you once that's done okay so i ran most of the long tubes down here got that hooked up and then i'm looking over here i thought well maybe i'll just hook up the front get get all the get all this stuff done so i'm looking at this And I'm looking over there. And I'm looking at this. And I'm looking over there. <laughs> I was sure I had these in the right direction. Darn it. I don't know if it's going to cause a problem, but... Be back in a minute. All right, so a couple things. Um, try to find some photos of this online uh, of what I'm looking at right now with the actuators. It's kind of hard. Um, I did find a video and from what I could tell, the hoses go in, but now I'm confused um, because in the assembly manual, it's hard to tell, um, but in the assembly manual, it looks like it's going that way. It's going towards the outside. See, on this one, this is the red. I mean, that's to the outside of the car, right? Unless I'm misunderstanding this. Uh, and then what is this? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, I don't know. Let me show you one issue, though. Uh, so the way I have it set up, and, you know, this is this is not the way the 71 came, apparently. Um, is I, you know, I put this, uh, the actuator relays here. I know it looks kind of like a snake pit here for right now, but here's my issue is the green... The green hooks up to the bottom of the actuator. And in this, in my situation here, uh, it's very tight. In fact, they're they're kind of falling off. Um, this one, see the green, from this side, it doesn't even reach. Oh, see, it just fell off, but let me show you. It doesn't even reach over there. It's like, I, I, I. so, um, I don't know what the fix is. Um, maybe, I mean, these are kind of weird because even if, sorry, camera work, even if this was there, uh, it's not like, it's not gonna reach up, there. <laughs> not reaching anywhere. So anyway, I might have to get new, some new hoses for those. But um, this is, I labeled this because it's it goes way, way over there. Um, but right now, all I, all I really wanted to do is 
of course, I set out to uh, to just run the three the three hoses that um, do run through the radiator support on the side there, uh, and then the wiring harness. So all of that will get smashed up. Um, and then I, what I did, I hope this is right, is I ran the the vacuum lines through these types of clips, and I guess the wiring goes through these types, I think, or the other way around. I don't know. It doesn't really say anywhere, or maybe it does, but uh, that's what I'm gonna do for right now. I can fiddle around with that later. I'm gonna try to get the uh, radiator support in today. And uh, if I have to switch these again, I guess I will. Let's go. Okay. Well, I got the radiator support in, and that was not easy because um, the car's been sitting, it's been shifting. So this whole uh, area was it's just not that easy. And this is also a, you know, made in Taiwan um, replacement because, of course, the original was rusted out. So let me uh, show you what I did to get this thing in. So first of all, um, it was hard for me to get it low enough. So two things. One is I got one, and these are long. These are I know these are ex extra long screws uh, or bolts, and I'll probably replace these with shorter ones, or maybe I'll just leave them. I think they're okay. But just get one in. And what you can do is tip the whole thing forward this way. You know, so if you move the bottom this way, it'll lower, it'll, it'll lower the top down to where you can get one in and then get the, get the top in, get the other, uh, top in if you can. And what would, what I found really helpful is to, um, if it's not quite low enough and you can't get it, you know, can't get it to go in from that side, put it in from this side put it in from the inside and run it through and it'll it'll kind of make a channel. Uh, you know, this point right here will end up pushing the whole thing down. Um, and because it's already threaded, it, you know, it, it exerts force and it'll, it'll push this down and then you can go in from the outside, right? So that's what I did. And I did that there. I know these are long, but I put a shorty on the bottom um, I need to get the right size, but that's, that's what I ended up doing. So I, I put the two top in first with the, with the bottom edge a little forward, you know, so it would be lower. And then I just kind of hammered it back, pounded it back with some wood and dead blow hammer, got it lined up. And then I put in the other two pieces, the lower two. Uh, that's what I recommend. And I'm going to call it a day from here because I'm tired and uh, I spent way too long doing what I did today. But I got I got it mostly done. I got some of the vacuum lines connected and I think I do need uh, clips on these. Uh, yeah, hose, hose clamps or something. Also, on all the vacuum lines, um, I just put some of the silicon, silicon oil lube. It's just a super lube. Just makes it easy and it'll eventually kind of dry and uh it won't be so slippery but just for putting stuff together this stuff's good of course don't use um, oil on rubber right so silicon silicone uh on it says oil but it's i know it's not really oil silicone lubricant and uh you're good to go all right thanks you guys see ya